It's October. I love October. When I was a kid, as an only child, I always felt life started again in the fall and got fully underway by October. October for me every year is kind of a crush. A lot of things happen, become due, or just impinge on my life in October. It's my wife's birthday. It's our anniversary. A board I serve on conducts its annual board retreat every year in October. The final rally of the year in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan happens in the third weekend of October. Annual off-site meetings with two of my principal clients happen in October. And this year I can add my 50th high school reunion. Yeah, 50th. And I'm putting the finishing touches on Gateway to Clarity, the awesome summit I'm presenting next month. You can read about it further down in this blog. And then there's my beloved St. Louis Cardinals. They do this to me at some of the most inopportune times. They're deep into baseball's postseason for the fourth year in a row, and I'm a season ticket holder. That just screws up all the schedules in a most glorious way. People have often told me I thrive on chaos, and October is always chaos in our household, exacerbated by frequent baseball postseasons. So, how do you handle chaos? Is it a struggle, why me reaction? Or is it, oh my God, what an incredible rush response? I have some friends and clients whose knower judger needs to have everything predictable, know what happens exactly when, and can just melt down when the schedule begins to disintegrate. I want to commit to all my projects. So when life throws curves, either beneficial or interrupting at me, I tend to accommodate, adjust my life in order to get it all done. That can result in missed workouts, lost sleep, and sometimes inappropriate diets. I do get it all done, however. The stress, or eustress, that productive version of stress, is temporary. November eventually arrives. The finish line is crossed. For me, to further wear myself out by being frustrated or upset by the fast-paced schedule I've learned is totally counterproductive. I can get tired. Sometimes I can even find myself deep in my knower judger because stress can compromise my ability to stay completely present. I react a little more than I respond. It's okay. November's coming. So as you view this, I'm checking off October. Birthday? Check. Anniversary? Check. Board retreat? Check. November Gateway to Clarity under control? Check. Offsite material prepared? Check. I'm on my way to the Upper Peninsula right now to race the final race of the season? Check. And oh yeah. Go cards. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. <laughs>